stay with me. I'm on you like glue. All right. Hi, guys. Can I skate with you? Nah, you're just a girl. Power glide. Aren't you jumping to conclusions? Let her try. You might be surprised. Okay, but thanks. Wow, look at that! All right! Remember, don't judge people till you give them a chance. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. The Transformers! Hey, folks. It's me again, Skullgrim140. And I'd like to call you folks because the TFC are just they're the family that I never had. Because basically, um, I love you all so much, the Transformers community. I wish you all my brothers and sisters because deep down, my real folks, my mother and my father, I don't really, well, I don't like my father that much because of him. I was born in the late 80s. He just didn't ejaculate inside my mother that 10 years earlier. I mean, my father was a compulsive masturbator. He used to play with himself a hell of a lot. And I, because of my big giant forehead, it's built up for all the stress of being trapped inside his testicle for so many years. He wouldn't think I'd remember it, but believe me, I do. And just being trapped in there for so long, every time my father was a compulsive masturbator, so he, I mean, I had to hold on for DNA, you know, using my forehead to hold on to the side of his testicle for DNA. I'm not going to shoot out of his cock and end up on some handkerchief or down some toilet or on some bed seat or, or in, even inside a sock. No, I believe I'm a human, I have human rights here. So I had to hold on for DNA, but then one day, one day, I could smell something. It wasn't no normal smell. That was the smell of my mother's vagina. So I said, now it's time to go. So I used my big massive forehead when I was a sperm and bashed the rest of my brothers and sisters out of the way and turned into my father. It was now or never. So I had to take that risk because my mother and father might not make love for so long and I might, I might be trapped in there for so long. So I thought it's now or never. So a bit like prison break, it's now or never. So I had to swim. Be my father's fastest swimmer and swim through his penis and in, inside my mother's vagina. And believe me, that was such a warm, tender moment. And I finally got out in the late 80s and I missed all of Generation 1, Series 1 and 2 and Transformers the movie. So this is why I'm saying I have no right to review this, but I'm going to review it anyway. So the review I'm going to be reviewing as per the title page is Generation 1 Power Glide. And here he is, um, playing with his TF cock. He's in motion, playing with himself, as he likes to do. And to, uh, I do like Paraglide because, well, according to, well, despite his diminished size, you know, it's a bit small, like my TF cock. I mean, he knew how to rustle and tussle with the Decepticons. He had a bit of guts about him. And his first episode into the Generation 1 was a prime problem, where Megatron tossed Spike out of a spaceship and power glide just glided through with its power and away we go and rescued Spike. So he was always he was a very good plane, a very good plane. I mean the thing is with with power glide he was he had his way with the ladies. Something that I lack. I just can't seem to please I mean if power glide can do it, why can't I? He just you know, because his most famous episode in Generation One was well, the girl who loved Paraglide, Astoria. But he rescued her from the three cone heads of Decepticons. And he saved her and she was not good with machinery. But she was obviously good with Paraglide. She wanted to, she was hugging him and she, she built up some sort of emotion thing. But, so if them two kind of got together and they had a baby together, would it have been a Transformer? Would it have been half Transformer and half Man? We just don't know, do we? But they never gave us that option because at the end of it, and the end of the episode where Paraglide offered to take out a, a little fish fight with Ironhide and Ratchet, he walked off and he opened up his chest and there was a heart inside. So he had some emotion. He had some beautiful emotion about himself. And I think he was, uh, I would just wish I wish him if he could uh, get intimate with these girls. Why can't I? My love life isn't looking too good at the moment because I've had to move on my feelings from Lissy. She's engaged now to Charmy B, lucky man that he is. And I'm stuck here in boring Townsford. But my four-headed heart beats. 
sorry, I, I, my feet always come out whenever I, I, I can't think about it too much because my forehead might explode, and if, I, if my forehead explodes, this video is just going to turn into one big giant red mess. Well, Powerglide's red, and Astoria, her hair was red as well, so if they did conceive a baby together, the child would obviously have some sort of red head, red hair, and, but we never know, we'll never learn to find that out, but Powerglide, he, he made it through series one and two, well, when he didn't make it into the movie, he didn't, he wasn't in the movie, but we did see drizzles and gravels or little rough or tussle of him in series three, but I don't know why they didn't give him a part in the movie, he was, he could have, he could have rescued me, he could have rescued a few of us, he could have, but then looking at his toy, it's a, it's very small, a bit like my TF cock, but on the camera it kind of looks quite big. And here he is playing with himself, and he likes it. But he, he hasn't got, uh, he can't walk because his legs are kind of tied together. And he's he's got his hologram there, and it's upside down on his feet. And But he, his face looks kind of similar as he does in, in, the, in the cartoon. Except I didn't have the experience of watching that when he was on normal television. I've only got the experience of watching it on DVD. Because I just wasn't around. Blame my father for that. Blame him. It's his fucking fault. And I, I just don't like my father. Or he, he couldn't even have sex with my mother. Why not have, to have sex with her ten years earlier? Because if he did, I could have been part with Simon and Kyle Prime and the rest of them. But no, I was stuck with fucking Beast Wars, wasn't I? Beast machines. Animated. I do like them, but I wanted to be Generation 1 and I didn't get that chance. I didn't get that chance! I hate you, Father. I fucking hate you for everything you've done to me, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> I've got to stop. I've got to get stop getting stressed out because I don't want my forehead to explode. The reason I've got a big forehead is because I was holding on for dear life inside my father's testicle. And I, you know, being trapped inside, there's not a lot you can do inside your father's testicle. There just isn't. There just, there's nothing to do, and then all these little, because I was holding on for dear life, you know, when a sperm dies, it dies. And all these little ones kept popping up, and they're looking at me, going, why have you got such a big massive forehead? And I've come into the world here, and I look, people tell me I look like some sort of Klingon. You know, you should, why are you into Transformers? Why aren't you into Star Trek? And I just, because I look like a Klingon, well, fuck you, I don't really, I just don't care. I really do not care, I am me, and I, I do believe deep down, I am a very handsome man. And, but, you know, the girls just don't seem to think that. Maybe I should cut my hair like Simon's. I might think about that, actually, but I just don't know. Um, but the bottom line is here, Power Glide, I'm sorry, hiding away, he's still masturbating, playing with his TF cock. I am proud to be part of the TFC because we are such a great community together. And when we go to auto assembly each year, we all get together and we have some major fun. Fun. Like that one picture when we're all stood on stage, Simon's there. But on the stage stands Simon Ski, he and Kalel Prime by his side. Time to wine, he destructs and snake it. And Johnny is there, and me too. And we stand there and we shout out, We are the TFC, we love Transformers, yes, we love them, and the toys they so remain. Ooh, let's hear it for anime, folks. Anime! <coughs> Anime, 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 <laughs> anime, oh anime, I'm a fucking me. I think I better stop this review because my forehead is starting to beat, and I think I'm gonna, I need to go and lie down for a bit and think about my beautiful girlfriend, uh, is a uh, Captain DeSorno because uh, my feelings for her are just getting so immense by the day, and I'm masturbating around the clock, and it's really, I am really making a mess. So maybe I've got some sperm inside me, some little sperm swimming around saying I don't want to end up on some handkerchief. But I'm sorry, sperm. I have no fucking choice. I can't find a girl to stick my tear cock inside. But one day, one day, I will lose my virginity and I'm hoping that Captain Sona will be the one. So that's what I've got to work on. So I've decided I'd better wrap up this review now. But ladies and gentlemen, folks, my real family, TFC, uh, I better wrap this review up now. But what better way to end the review with the great words of Bugs Bunny? That's all, folks! I'm running away from home. My parents are mean. Where are you going?
I'm not sure, but I'll show him. That's right. You'll show him how mean you can be. Bumblebee. Isn't it better to try to solve problems instead of running away from them? Maybe I could try talking to my parents again. Yeah, tell them how you feel. And remember, running away leads nowhere. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. The Transformers!